An update on the deadly standoff in Minnesota that killed two police officers and a firefighter paramedic. Law enforcement says an armed man in a suburb of Minneapolis barricaded himself inside a home with his family. The incident lasted several hours and escalated into an exchange of gunfire. ABC's Allison Kosick has more on how the community is paying tribute to their fallen heroes. A community in mourning. Members gathering in front of Burnsville City Hall, south of Minneapolis, to honor two police officers and a firefighter paramedic shot and killed while responding to a domestic incident. We know that our community is broken right now and our hearts are heavy. Um, there are little children here who, who are going to be missing their daddy. It was just before 2 a.m. Sunday when police were called to a home where they say an armed man was barricaded inside with family, including seven children. The situation escalating into gunfire. And I need two additional ambulances. Authorities say the suspect had several guns and large amounts of ammunition. Residents urged to shelter in place. Violence doesn't have boundaries. It doesn't discriminate. Burnsville police officers Paul Emstrand, Matthew Ruge, and Adam Finseth killed by the suspect during the response. Another officer, Adam Medicott, injured. Our folks come to work every day and are willing to give up the ultimate sacrifice of their life, but no one expects it to happen. It's a tragic day. We're all grieving. Authorities say the suspect also died. The seven children in the home were released and are safe. Minnesota's governor ordering flags to be flown at half staff across the state Monday to honor the victims. Our families need time to grieve. They need time to be together. We need you to pray for them. That's what we need. Allison Kosick, ABC News, New York.